This is your updated guide for farming resonance going into 2023 for Diablo more though. There's a couple of disclaimers you need to know in the beginning. First and foremost, this is a hyper sweaty method, meaning this is for the people that want to min max. This is for the people that want to grind way too much in a day. This is not a casual friendly. I want to play an hour or two hours a day and I'm suddenly just going to get a billion resonance for free. This isn't some cheat code. You still actually have to play the game and you have to play it significantly, but this will actually benefit people who want Want to grind the game and don't have the money to do so. So I know there's people from other countries. I have a lot of Filipino fans, for instance, and in these different countries, sometimes this is some of the only way they can actually afford to get these resonance. So if you're trying to get resonance and you physically have no other way than just grinding the game, but you have the time and effort, this video is for you. There's another disclaimer that I have to do. There was some drama related to my previous video. I removed it because a YouTuber got banned and he is speculating the reason he got banned is for doing some of the methods that I show in this video. I have gone out of my way to talk to Blizzard and confirm for a fact the methods that I'm about to show you in this video are 100% safe. These are allowed by Blizzard. These are not terms of service violation. I cannot speak to why another person would have got banned. I'm not from customer support. The only thing I can speak to is that what I'm about to show you in my video right now and the methods of farming resonance that I'm going to show you are in fact covered by Blizzard, are not terms of service violation, and there will be no debate you will not get banned and this is factually allowed to do so all of those disclaimers and transparency and clarity that people need to know aside let's go ahead and show you this 100 legal although sweaty method to acquire resonance free to play this is going to be using a combination of knowing what server you're on plus the actual server merge list that will tell you what servers you have merged with. For instance, I'm on Storm Shield and we have merged with Ode Growth, Sand Scorpion, and Zotan Cool. That means there are currently four servers in the game that all share the same market, world, etc. What that means is when I log into my account, you can see I'm on Storm Shield. I'm going to have my Storm Shield server characters that I normally have. However, this also means if I go back and I switch what, what server I'm on and I select another server that is part of those four. For instance, if I show you on this page one more time, you can see Storm Shield is with Sand Scorpions, Ode Growth, and Zotan. So if I pick Ode Growth and I go here and I do not have a character here, there are five character spots per, it's gonna have me make a character. This character will technically be on a different server, but still have access to the same market. This is crucially important. The plan is to generate as much platinum on these alternate characters as possible. One such way you can do that very easily is by doing your daily activities in the Kodax. These stack, you can see there's three of them available because I've been logged in for three days. You can just log in once every three days, get up to 900 platinum, log off again, come back in three days, do the same thing just by doing your daily activities. This is the easiest way to acquire platinum. If you wish to go ultra sweat, you can also double down and do the warband Raid that will give you the Eternal Legendary Crest voucher from doing one Warband raid a week up here at the Elder Rift. And you can take this Legendary Crest voucher that you get from that and you can do an additional Elder Rift with your character. And on the occasion, you're gonna get a Legendary Gem that will make it worth it. This is additional effort and is not required for this method. You can just do the login for the 300 Platinum per day per character. And this is where knowing your server and how much you're willing to sweat for the additional effort will come off. So if I only have one character, I'm only generating through the codex 300 platinum a day. But if I have four additional characters, that's 1200. If I have 19 additional characters, well, you can very quickly start to see how you can get a lot of platinum. So how do you actually get these 19 additional characters? Well, that's where knowing what server you're on is going to matter. The four different servers that have merged together, you can make five characters on each one of these servers. And because they share the market, all the platinum that you acquire on each one of these characters on all four of the servers can be funneled into your main account. And again, it's legal. So let's say you've made a character on one of the servers and you have farmed some platinum through doing your daily activities. Maybe you've also gone and got some unbound normal gems and sold them in the market because you can do that too. Each character has their own limit of unbound normal gems and you can farm the additional platinum. So you're sitting on some platinum and now you're like, okay, Step number one is done. I have some platinum on alternate character, and now I'd like that platinum to go to my main character in order for me to generate as much resonance as possible. What you're going to do is now you're going to log onto your main character and you're going to go to the market. So let me show you. I'm gonna log off my character that has the platinum on it. 
I'm going to go to my main character and I'm going to go to the market. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a legendary gem on this character. And if you're trying to figure out how do I get my hands on the legendary gem because I'm free to play on my main character, how do I get my hands on a legendary gem to do this? Do your Warband Raid, at least on your main character, so that way you'll have this once a week legendary gem that you can sell at a minimum. You can also craft them. So if you go to the market here, what you're going to be doing is then you're going to take a one or two star gem that you've acquired, and you're going to sell this at a way higher price than you normally would. You're gonna crank it all the way up. Now, no one's going to buy this gym, and if they do, congratulations, but the reason you put this at a higher price is so that you're then, you're going to log back on your alternate character, you're gonna go into the market, and you're gonna purchase that same gym from yourself. This will take that platinum that you farmed on the other character, it will transfer it to your main, and take that gym and put it onto the free to play. Then you can feel free to either sell that gem for whatever platinum that is possible on the free to play and use that once again to transfer it to your main, or you can just use the gem on your free to play account, or you can even try to snipe that gem and sell it back to your main by selling it at a way lower price and then buying it right back from your main as well, depending upon the value of the gem. There's a couple of things to keep in mind. You will lose some value from doing this because there is the platinum fee that is in the market, but you will be able to transfer some of your platinum from the alternate characters to the main character. Two star gems will be easier to transfer back and forth. As you can see the difference, instead of just like a 900 platinum difference in price point, you can double it from about 3,000 to you know 7,000 plus. So try to buy and sell two stars back and forth within your own account, within your characters in order to min max this the best possible. So then you're gonna take all the platinum that you've gotten from farming on your alternate characters, whether it be 19 alternate characters or just one alternate character, you can make as many alts as you feel comfortable with. And then you're gonna take that on your main character go in here and you're going to be using that to straight up purchase whatever gems you actually need and target the gems you need in order to get higher resonance. This is confirmed the fastest possible way in the game to get resonance. It is extremely sweaty. You have to have multiple characters. You have to be doing multiple daily activities. You have to log in for one character, sell it to yourself, etc. buy and sell in the market. There's a lot of annoying things you have to do, but it is factually currently the fastest way to not only farm platinum, but also farm resonance in the game. One other thing you should know, I've seen other people that are saying that oh, what they do is they have multiple Battle.net accounts so they can log on multiple Battle.net accounts all at the same time in order to do this. I do not recommend this. There is some speculation that having multiple Battle.net accounts can get you actually terms of service violation. I only have confirmation today as it stands using the same Battle.net account with 20 characters. That's totally fine. But if you're trying to use five, six, seven Battle.net accounts, I don't actually have an answer on that specific question. So. Keep with it within one Battle.net account. I don't know why you would need more than 20 characters anyway, but if for some reason you're doing something weird and you have five, six, seven Battle.net accounts, I would try to avoid that. And if you really wanna be hyper sweaty, you can also do your Elder Rift every single day with the Rare Crest on each one of these characters and eventually get enough FA runes to craft another Eternal Legendary Crest 100% for free and then use that gem to get even more additional platinum to transfer for the main. So this, this method is really dependent upon how much you want to farm. There is definitely enough gameplay out there that if you want, you can basically be farming platinum nonstop. Again, 20 characters in total. So there is, a lot of resonance and platinum to be gained. It's just up to you how much you want the resonance. I would argue that probably could just make a better resonance system, make it easier to acquire resonance is free to play, but I'm not the one that makes the game. I'm only the one that can teach you how to do it the best you possibly can. Love you all. Consider liking the video, consider subscribing to the video, and I'll see you guys on the next one.